scroll with flat list for that i will use a open source json array data uh, i will to create a uh, simple flat list with array you know uh, i just put a hello for example i just move it first of all just add a constructor function inside the super function that is necessary as my state i maintain state with mp data mp data i will put this uh, is value by json server data anything you can say so here is my flat list inside the flat list first of all i put my array data that is my data from state okay uh, and second is key structure for my indexing you can say it, uh, first of all item and index uh, index we will use for a uh, to string for that you will say index dot to string function okay now this done now you can render your item okay i will try to create uh, create a flat list when i put pagination like i uh, reach on the end of the array 10 column or 10 result on my first page then i will show a button load more okay so for that you can say here my data is uh, item and uh, sorry it's package inside this your item and here you can put your view like this view yes uh, here i will say item uh, still i don't have anything in my so i putting one two four that's just for showing here reload okay here is the array now i need to create a function for server data so that with this type of function okay in this function uh, we will fetch our await data from my url i will show you where is the url this type of url uh, I am putting here pagination like a um, limit is 10 on per page and page number one is number two like this we will put inside our data so first of all create a variable for uh, your response okay response here await and fetch a function uh, which contains your URL okay I'll let me over what wrap okay here is next variable for your data or you can name it any uh, server data something it will uh, also wait response dot json actually json is function which contain json convert to this data now I need to uh, update empty data to server data so for that i will set here uh, set state three brackets and data put inside your data that's all now is uh, done your work is done here uh, so you need this uh, on load function like a component it mount it will uh, reload your data uh, by this get data function okay save it now let me reload uh, here it will be a error because i need to make it empty second i need to put here child like a title i will show you title url thumbnail id anything you can put here okay not here actually here okay uh, where uh, you are trying to display your data here you will put array child Reload the app. Okay, I written here mistakenly. Reload the app. Now 
should display your title is 10 10 title mm, if i say uh, i reach on the end of the page it will say uh, it will show uh, more result like a google mobile app uh, let me show you what i am saying i put here this something uh, search on mobile and it will show a end of the result uh, that will be uh, you can see in the end and here you will see the button call it more result i will try to achieve this okay if i put here it will show more result so for that first of all go to your yeah app go to back to your app here uh, i put here simple uh, yeah style margin pen and background color is uh, white you know it will look like a card okay and main container will say background color not white off white anything and padding padding five that's it let me see ah it's looking nice now uh i think padding is not very good too yeah it's good now if i go to my uh, here i will show button for that here you will put a list footer component and here you will call my footer function which i not create yet but i will create now uh, here my function my footer function and here you will say return your view view and inside the view you will say load more or no you can say more yet like uh, your yeah your, your google now if i go to reach on the end i will see more result now make it uh, make it uh, button okay so i will use touchable opacity and first of all i give it style to make like uh, that button i will uh, show you uh, just align item center and uh, it will be padding 10 pixel border is very necessary here border will be one border color uh, border color i will use here gray and color color not here color will be for text and 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 here uh, you can say uh, color color also gray and um, font size 60 uh, padding uh, and width for button is 100 percent okay and here the view view i will put here padding padding 10 pixel okay uh, save it now reload let me check the button here is the button okay now make it more look like that uh, i will say border radius radius 20 okay yeah uh, it's not boarding to but uh, i don't think so why it's not working border radius we can reload okay 
put one t reload the app ah, yeah, it look like like that now uh, if i click here i need to uh, show next page for that uh, i show here id because you know uh, on the first page it will show id starting from one and second page starting from 11 so it must be second page let me check ah yeah you can see it's second page now if i put here one page page number one so it will show one id so that i need dynamically so i will put declare a uh, page and grab that value from my state by dynamically on the load of the function it's page number now uh, you know i need to update this every time when i click on the button okay so for that we will put here page first of all i need number of my current page so front page is plus one that's it nothing else okay it will put value here and we will grab here every time button will click it will update the value so let me test it uh, more result click okay i did not uh, give to name to the my function my inside my footer because i forget to add here on press button on press just put here this dot get data uh, here I am recalling this this uh, function okay that's all nothing special okay uh, and go to end of the page click merge alt now you can see is starting from 11 so is second page and is third page and is fourth page but do you notice where is my first entries that the twist in the story okay for that you need to combine all data inside your data yeah it's confusing let me show you here is state dot data dot here is the function put inside your data that's it save it now you will able to see from 1 to 40 if you click four times so let me click yeah now you can see more gel more gel more gel if i click on four times is reached to 40 and same time i able to see one two three four five six seven eight two forty fifty and you can see everything here you can set your limit i put here 10 you can show uh, whatever you need okay uh, let me show here my data is title and image with source uh, it will be uri uh, is item dot url image need a two component necessary width 100 percent is up to zoo uh, and height uh, i recommend one two two hundred okay and put here now reload the app here is your data you can see boo, 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 boo. and more result more result okay uh, so this one okay for this video if you have any doubt anything uh, please comment below if you have a very big stuff in comments then don't need to comment just send an email to me i will try to help you thank you thank you see you in the next video